for a lot of kids who might be struggling in the classroom or those who've sustained a head injury, uh, many of you will be aware that uh, auditory integration or what they might term auditory discrimination um, can be impacted. And although we certainly aren't necessarily you know, audiologists, there are many things that we can do within the vision therapy room to help with um, auditory integration. And you know, we, we do this a lot with the metronome and uh, I just wanted to demonstrate one of the ways that you can implement this at home through the neurovisual trainer software. So we'll kind of show you again, we'll, we'll, we'll log into the, the software here and within the visual perceptual category of activities, there's a number of different um, games and, and engaging uh, programs and activities for you to, to utilize. What I'll show you here is as we, we've referenced before this visual auditory integration uh, exercise. So it's a reasonably simple activity, but we have heard wonderful feedback from patients about how you know it has been helpful in the classroom. It's helpful in grocery stores. It's um, you know just kind of helped them differentiate sounds and to process of them more comfortably. And so I'll show you. Essentially, it's it's set up similar to the other exercises where there's a number of different levels, and we've got the advanced configuration open. And you'll see that the as you increase the level, which you'll see in a moment, it's going to have uh, more rows, which we'll see is going to be more options for them to answer uh, the correct answer. And it's going to have, you know, a shorter interval. So the, uh, the beep sounds are going to come faster and the delay is going to be going to be shorter. So you can um, you can play around with this here in terms of, you know, the, the advanced configuration elements. But suffice it to say, obviously, the higher levels are, are more challenging. So if we start on, say, level three, I'll give you an example of how this works. Again, you can customize the background color between black and white. I usually find black is the easiest for particularly head injuries. Um, and uh, we'll kind of launch here to show you. So again, it, it demonstrates here, uh, you know, headphones are helpful that you're going to be utilizing and you're going to be hearing a series of beeps and then images are going to appear and you're going to find the answer that visually matches what you've heard. So I'll show you here. Um, I've got my microphone plugged in, so it might be tricky to hear, but there's going to be a sequence of sort of beeps and boops. And what you'll do is based on, okay, the long one was first, and then there were two short ones, or was it two short ones and a long one? What was the order? Now I couldn't hear it because I've got my microphone plugged in, but uh, I'll just to demonstrate here, essentially kind of the, the options. Uh, as you go through, there's gonna be the tones. You're gonna choose the next one, and you're gonna be listening to the tones. Again, headphones are helpful. And again, it's translating auditory information into visual information and helping with, as we said, that uh, discrimination piece that's, that's so important in the classroom or when recovering from, from injury. So play around with the activity. Again, we've had a lot of <clears throat> good success and um, lots of positive feedback with it. You can use it in the office and it's a way to supplement some of the learning opportunities that we traditionally use through the metronome through a, uh, a slightly different approach.